welcome back to another daily deal. I can't wait to share this one with you guys. This one here of the daily deal is only $8. There's so many to choose from. The first pack I'm going to share with you guys today, um, there are nine exactly like this pack that I'm going to show you. The other packs I'm going to show you today, there's only one of each. So this here is the first pack, pack number one. So when you go to the listing, you'll see a number one. This might look backwards to you. Um, so this will be pack number one. In the listing, I'll have uh, pictures above that will have a number on it. So this is a very good time to get a pen and paper or, or a pad of paper and a pencil and just write down the number that you like. Again, each pack is only $8. Um, along with the daily deal, which you know I love offering a gift with purchase, I have uh, a bunch of these Better Homes and Gardens um, library cards. These are the smaller ones. They're three by four, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. Let me measure really quick. Um, these are, sorry, four by five inch. So these are the smaller ones and they have like the recipes on the back. I'm sure you guys seen them before, but you will get 15 um, is the gift with purchase. So eight bucks. You cannot beat that. Wait till you see what you get um, with pack number one. Pack number one, of course, like I did with all the other uh, covers I've done before, um, you get the swatches to match. I'll show those here in a minute. Um, so pack number one is going to be identical. All I have nine of these available. So each cover, there's four covers in this pack and each uh, cover measures 10 and a half by 14 and a half. Um, the first one you'll get is this lovely, it totally reminds me of India, um, Bohemian, or however you want to call it, Boho. It came from this beautiful woven cover that I got. Um, you can see it is the back side. Either side is beautiful, but this is like pops out elegant. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this has like cute little tassels. Um, it's just so elegant. So um, I just thought it would be a perfect junk journal cover, no matter which direction you go in. So either way you go, it's just beautiful. I just, I absolutely fell in love with this fabric. Um, so like I said, in this one, you get four junk journal covers. So there's the first one, which you've seen. The second one is this. I try to get the theme to be similar in color just in case you might want to line the inside of your cover with one of these. This one here is double sided. You have this pattern or you have this pattern. So no matter which side you go, it's gorgeous. So um, it's a perfect uh, upholstery weight. It's just gorgeous. So that's cover number two. Cover number th three is this leafy creamy color. I don't know if I could show it. It's like raised. It's gorgeous. It's, um, <laughs> it just feels so real. Like it's, it's actually the leaves on there. I hope I can capture the color here. But, um, so when I fold this in half, you get, that's just the beautiful cover in itself. It's just gorgeous. I don't know if you guys could see that. All right. Um, so that's cover number three. And the fourth cover you get in this pack is another rich, uh, gorgeous color. This, to me, it reminded me of like the fall. I could totally see that be a fall uh, journal. Uh, you guys been doing those like what? December dailies, October dailies, whatever you call those. Or the prairie journals are really beautiful with this. But definitely this reminds me of fall. And then the four samplers you get here that are the little tabs. Um, or use them for like tabs on your journal or layering um, on your journal. Like I said, they're three by four inch. Again, it's, it's, I tried capturing the same colors that you got on um, in each pack. So that is pack number one. Again, I have nine of these. So um, let me go to pack number two. Okay, here's pack number two. Again, remember pack number two. That might look backwards to you. I apologize. This is pack number two. In the listing, you'll see the same thing. I only have one pack of number two. Um, it was hard to match these. These are, like I was trying to explain before, are the upholstery uh, samplers that you get in the fabric store when you're picking out a fabric. They will have the rings on the ends. Um, some people use those, um, but they're perfect for covers. This is beautiful and elegant. 
Look how beautiful the colors are. So this is pack number two. You got the greens and things like that. Um, the colors I went with this pack here. I did this color here. I did this creamy greenish color as well. And then this color. Um, so I'm going to open those guys up for you. I'm going to try. I have so many to show you. So I'm going to try to show you guys um, what I do have uh, really quick as possible. Here's the color that I told you. It's like a green and cream color. And this one I'll open up really quick to show you the pattern. So this is pack number two. And I'll raise it up really close for you. Just beautiful. They're just beautiful. And let me measure these. These are pretty long. These here measure uh, 17 and a half inch by uh, 11 and a half inch. So these are bigger than pack number one. Uh, gives you a little bit more room to work with. The, the tabs that you get with this one are these here. Again, they are three inch by four inch. Again, you can use them for either turning them for like tabs or layering for whatever work you're doing. So this here is pack number two. And let me go on and show you, of course, like you said, you get the 15 cards. Um, no matter when, how many packs you guys purchase, you'll get an additional 15 more cards. So the more you buy, the more you get kind of thing. So let me get you pack number three. Okay, here's pack number three. It comes with this beautiful burgundy fabric piece, which I'll raise up to you here in a minute. It's got these cute little potted shrubbery plants on it, which is really cool. I'll show you here in a second. Um, the first piece that goes with it that I thought it looked good with the coloring um, is this beautiful chenille piece. Um, it's definitely gorgeous. It's really soft and beautiful. Um, it's just pretty no matter which direction you go in. Let me go ahead and show that to you. Got that one. And then I really love this green. I uh, thought it was really well with the green uh, check uh, diamond cream and green. Um, it just was gorgeous. And then this one here is like, um, what do you call that? Tapestry-ish. It's got like the burgundy, um, the reds, like a, I think it's more red than burgundy, but the blacks and greens, totally can see this being a Christmas. It's just beautiful. So this is pack number three. I'll raise this up for you guys. You can see those cute little, the two different raised diamond pattern in the background. I wonder if this is double-sided, no. But this one's definitely, it's a woven, a woven cover. So it just was beautiful. I could see that being it's just beautiful. So that is pack number three and then the samplers you get with it. I brought some of the gold out to bring out the colors in the pots, uh, the browns, that color, and the creams. I've been trying to keep it pretty neutral so you could be using them universal if you buy more than one pack. Again, this is pack number three. Here is pack number four. This one has this really cute uh, pattern with the elephants down the middle and very ornate uh, designs on the backdrop, which I'll show you here in a minute. The tabs, like I said, they're pretty much similar and universal. Um, you're gonna see the same theme throughout. So here's the first color here is like a plush um, chenille color. It's so gorgeous. It's the greens and like a, it's just gorgeous, so elegant. This is pack number four. These little things here at the bottom, they were bought, they just have staples. It's just the maker. I figure somebody might wanna know um, how much cotton, like it's 60% cotton, 40% poly. Um, I kept it on for the person who wants it. It comes right off. If you guys wanna take it off, obviously you will at some point. Then I, I thought this was cute. The leaves and these cute little ladybugs. Um, it could be used for many different things, but it's just gorgeous, I thought. I thought it went with the outdoorish theme. I don't know. You guys are the ones who make journals. I hope this uh, does help in some way. And then this was beautiful. I just thought it all went great. Like I said, if you felt like lining the inside, some people don't even line the inside of their covers. Um, so it's this here kind of captures all the colors, um, like a woven basket look. And then here, they'll bring this up closer for you. And you can see the elephants. And then the ornate flowers at the bottom. 
in the top. It's just gorgeous. I'm not sure how you would do it, what type of journal you would do, longer. It's just gorgeous. So that is pack number four. Let me get to pack number five. Here is pack number five. This has a variety of different colors. Again, here's those same tabs that I used with the other ones. And then you get this cover. If you guys can see that, it's like a, I can see the pot and the plants kind of thing. It's creams and greens, really gorgeous. Then you get this pattern, neutral, great liner for the inside. And then this wicker brown. And then you get this one here. It's really different. It's really, you know, definitely on the reds sides of the colors. I totally see a masculine kind of journal or for Christmas. It's gorgeous, I think. Very beautiful. So this will be pack five. Again, each pack you get, you get those free cards as well. I mean, you can't be eight bucks where you get four junk journal covers and some tabs or just two junk journal covers and inside liners for them as well. So a lot of people rave about these and I know that they love them. So I'm glad I get to be able to offer these up to you guys. Okay, here we go. Here is pack number six. Here's the tabs like before. And the colors here are more like the blues and burgundies and there's just a variety here, which it all seems to go really well together. Um, the bottom color is this one here. You can see that these beautiful tiny little flowers in the blue black backdrop. Here's the inside of the cover. If you decide you want to change the direction, if you like this side better, um, but very elegant, I do know. So again, this is pack five, I'm sorry, pack six, <laughs> apologize. Then you get this one here. You can totally see in that being boho-ish um, if you want it to. Either way, it's beautiful. Again, it's the same size of the cover. I just kind of have them folded. And then this one here, you get like a striped cream and like a beigey color. Very beautiful. Again, I left the tags. You guys could take them right off. It just gives you a lot of information on the contents of what's inside. Now I put in the same theme of this one in here, just in case maybe you did want to line the inside with uh, same colors, just a different pattern. Um, so really cool. This one's got like the striped flowers or if you feel like just cutting those out, you know, um, totally up to you, whatever you're going to do for your project. So this is pack number six. Let me put this together. Again, good thing to write down which pack is which. So when you go to the listing, you know which one to pick kind of thing. So that's pack number six. Let me get pack number seven. Okay, I'm back. Here's pack number seven. This is very gorgeous as well. Um, just very elegant. I can't wait to show you guys. But there's the tabs that match. Um, it comes with, this is the main color that I've chosen. But look, I don't know. Just no matter which direction you go, it's just gorgeous when you flip it on either side if you want the scallops but it's got this beautiful pattern I don't know if you guys can see it it's kind of kind of see the lion and you see the monkey I didn't see them until I went close up kind of thing um it just was gorgeous you got the the blues and the the beiges and um it's just beautiful and creams so for that I chose these colors here this one here is like an embroidered, like greenish color that kind of, you know, matches that with the beiges and the creams as well. I'll bring it up a little closer for you guys to see. It's just beautiful. It's like a, it's a, it looks like it's like raw silk uh, is the fabric. I do not see um, the tag on here to, to know for sure, but um, it feels like raw silk to me. It's just gorgeous. So this is pack number seven. And then this was gorgeous. It just seemed to all fall in line together. Um, I don't know. I had fun putting these together. Just, it's just, it's fun. And then I put this in there because I thought it kind of really went well with the color scheme. Um, it is oriental. 
Um, it has like the different symbols and things like that. Sorry, my lighting theory of it. it again, it feels like a raw silk or a Dupini, I can never say that word, Dupini, um, Chantug kind of fabric. It's just beautiful. It's just very elegant and it would be an amazing fabric piece for a liner. It's got like that paper thin feel to it. Um, I could see that being a liner on the inside of one of them. So this is pack number seven. Uh, let me go ahead and get pack number eight put together for you guys. Okay, this is pack number eight. Um, here's the tabs that come with it. And then the first color I put out there is this one here. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not gonna open them all up now that you guys have an idea. Here's this one's got the browns and golds. And I went with a little bit of a checker to get some of the colors in this. It's the greens and creams. And look at this piece. Oh my gosh. Look how elegant and gorgeous that is. Totally see that. Just gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this is pack number eight. Let me go ahead and go get pack number nine. As you guys can see, I'm picking it up a little bit here. Okay, here's pack number nine. There's the swatches. And it's very Victorian-ish. So being that said, I have this beautiful green ornate um, looking cover. Look how beautiful that is. Christmas. I can say Christmas to that one. That's gorgeous. That's just beautiful. And then this here, obviously you can see why I picked this for these colors. And then we have this one here. It's like a between like a chenille feel to it. Um, swirls and things like that. It really brings out some of these colors. This is pack number nine, so you guys know. And then you got this beautiful tapestry-like Victorian. Um, totally, it's just Victorian. It just reminds me of Victorian. It's just gorgeous. I don't know. I, I This is one of my favorites. I love this one. So again, this is pack number nine. Let's go get you another one. Here is pack number 10. Here's the tabs again. Like I told you, your swatches that are going with this one. Isn't that gorgeous? That is just so pretty. Here's the main cover that I thought was just gorgeous. Here's the back side. If you wanted to use that side, it's just gorgeous. And then I chose this color here to the neutral color, obviously. And then this here seems to bring out some of those purples and burgundies colors in there. And then here's this one, which is so elegant. It's got those roses or whatever kind of flowers in here. Just totally elegant, totally gorgeous. Figured it all went well together. Again, this is pack number 10. Let me go ahead and grab another pack for you guys really quick. Here's pack number 11. Again, the swatches, I'm showing you guys, seems like the same thing over and over, but either way, this here is just like that one I showed you with the lion and the monkey, except this one has more purples in it. Um, so I added more purples into it. There's the lion, I think the other side's the monkey, but it had a lot of this purple into it, uh, which was really elegant and the scallops and such. So I put in, um, here's the gold Z kind of color I put in there. And then the purple, which I thought popped out this purple so well, the purples and the creams and the green kind of colors. It just, I thought it just was, and then this brown one, oh my gosh, this is probably one of my favorite prints. Um, it's just, oh my God, <laughs> that's all I can say. It's just, you know, guys, you guys know I love that Victorian look. Um, it is just reeks beautiful. So this is pack um, 11. So I hope you guys like that one as much as I do. Oh my gosh, I'm just in love with this pack. Something about it just reeks elegant. So um, that's pack number 11. Okay, here is pack 12. Uh, the swatches I put in there, I put a lot more of the creamier looks because this is a darker tone. Maybe the creamiers can bring out some of the creams in here. There's some that like this guy, I left a little bit larger than the other ones. 
um, in case you want them as a pocket, but um, he has some of the darker in there as well. It's just really very elegant and different at the same time. Here's the back side um, where it's a little bit less dark. Uh, it's got more of the gold than it does the black. And the opposite side is more of the black. And then you see more like a creamier gold in the back, in the front side. So whichever side you like kind of thing, I chose that side, but either side you do, I made sure that these other colors will kind of go with the theme, the creams and stuff like that. Now you can see why I had those other colors to try to bring in a little bit of lighter side to it um, for you. So here's this one here, and this is the pattern. I think it's got like a leafy pattern in it, which is gorgeous. Um, again, just to remind you guys, this is pack number 12. This is really neat. Totally woven and gorgeous. It just, I don't know. This is a nice weight for a journal, I think. It's beautiful. And then I neutralized it with this color here. It's like the grayish. And the back is the same. So a beautiful opportunity to be a liner for something, I think. Just a beautiful color. And of course, you've seen the swatches already, so let's go on to the next pack. Back again, here is pack number 13, and the swatches are right there. Here is the elegant backdrop that I chose. It just was so beautiful, so beautiful. It's just, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, and then I picked this here. It seemed to go really well with the colors. Might be a great liner. The colors are really pretty. And then the neutral color, which might be a great liner as well. It's like a creamier color. And then this here brings out the darker colors. Just beautiful. Again, this is pack number 13. All right, this is pack 14. Swatches. And this is that color backdrop that I chose. Let me raise that up to, for you guys. It's like a very elegant tapestry look. And then I picked this guy here to bring out the neutral colors, which is gorgeous. If you get closer look, you can see all the other colors in it. Really pretty. Went with some stripes to bring a different pattern into the theme. Same colors, as you can see when I back up. Um, and then this one here is really beautiful. So it's almost like you get two covers, two liners kind of thing. This is beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. Again, this paper comes off for you guys here. I'll take it off. I want you to be able to see what the whole theme here. See that flower? Isn't that gorgeous and elegant? It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. I had so much fun putting these together. It was so much fun. I'm like, I know so-and-so is gonna like this and I know so-and-so is gonna like that. <laughs> uh, don't forget each pack comes with a pack of those, uh, like I said, those cooking cards. So um, let's get you another pack. All right, here is pack 15 and there's the tabs that come with it. Um, I'm out of frame there on that one, ain't I? Here we are. It's a lot of beautiful colors. You guys can see how beautiful. And then I chose the stripe kind of fabric. Now, I'm curious. Has anyone ever used those rings for tie ties for your, your journals or not? I'm curious. I've never seen it actually someone use it for that. I don't know if you guys cut those out or what. I've never really asked. For those who don't know why they're there, um, usually the sampler uh, pattern uh, fabrics that they have in a fabric store or like um, like in a, a store that you get uh, certain couches and you want to pick out different colors of the couch or the pillow. These are like the fabric swatches that they use. Um, and these are the rings that are on the holder that you flip through on them kind of thing. So yeah, I'm curious. Does anyone use those? Let me know. Message me down below. And then I chose a solid green wicker, kind of bring out some of the green. Perfect again for Christmas. And then this woven, like a lighter, creamier side, or two different different covers for two different projects. It's just overall, just beautiful. Again, this is pack 15. Um, I think I have one more pack left. Let's see here. Yep, I got one more pack left. That works for me. Okay, here's the last pack, pack 16. Here's your, your different swatches that you have. Um, here's the first fabric. Very, very bold, isn't it? It's beautiful uh, in the, the eye of the beholder, right? <laughs> Depending on what project you're doing. 
And then you have this color here, almost reminds me of kitchen, um, country kitchen or, um, well, I can't see Karashiki because it's a bit bold on, this is like a blue jean. And then you got like the uh, gingham, or like a wicker basket, it reminds me of like a wicker basket. Um, kind of theme there for uh, pack number 16. All right, those who want to get a pack that I just showed you, a pack or two or three or however many you want, there should be a link down below um, on this video that you can click on. It'll have my Etsy shop. Uh, click on that and pick out the packs you want. Again, while you're watching this video, you're gonna want to be able to um, write down what you want because when you go to the listing um, in my shop, there will be a drop down menu that you can click on. It's on the upper right hand side in my store and you can check, click your number and put it in your cart and pay. If you guys have any other questions, just message me. I hope you guys love the daily deal. It is an absolutely good one. Eight bucks plus you get freebies. So get them while you can. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.